We get our local metal bar, and he's there jamming. Uh, he knows every song, uh, bass, guitar, drums, all the vocals, you know, all the lyrics. He was sitting next to the jukebox one day for probably an hour, and every song that came on the jukebox, he played note for note with it. I was like, how does he know like every song and every riff? I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, he could just learn it within like a half a day. Like listen to it, and he'll start playing it back like right with it this next one or two plays. I mean, the guy is amazing. He has the best ear in the band for learning other people's music, especially. The guy's got such a great memory that he just, he'll remember all these old Tyronson riffs and Leviathan riffs and, you know, and he remembers them like, you know, he just learned them yesterday. <laughs> He's the library of riffs. Yeah, I just have this uh, guitar neck in my mind and I can just like picture where all the notes are. It's weird. <laughs> I did stump him one night. He was like, dude, he's, he's actually on stage saying, dude, I bet nobody can name a song that I can't play. And I come up to the side of the stage, I go, fast way, say what you will. Easy riff. Didn't know it. So I got it. Hey, forget about it, forget about it. And Rob Barrett is probably one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. He should be like a stand-up comic or, a, you know, an impersonator. He can mimic anybody. If somebody's got a funny way of talking, he'll, he can do it perfect. Rob is the rich little of death metal. Oh, this guy's the, the best <laughs> of the best as far as doing impressions of people. He used to call people and pretend he was a DJ on the radio and imitate DJs that you've won a contest. And the people fell for it. I was really good. I'm a mimic from hell. He pays really close attention to detail on what people do, and that's why his imitations are good. It's unbelievable, uncanny, how he'll get mannerisms and movements and all these friends that we know and that he knows, he'll do them, and we're just like, dude, we laugh because it's, man, you're, that's him, that's them, or whatever. You're just so good at that, man. Of course. And you can't ask him to do it, it just it happens. I don't do impressions and I request. They just come out. You just gotta catch them. Now see, I told Denise that what? you do a good imitation of me. And she said you'd never do it. It's pretty killer, man. It's pretty killer. Well, I mean, if he's right here, then I'll do it. Alex, will you ask him to do an impression of you? No, man, I don't want to see him do me. I'm too self-conscious for that, man. <laughs> because he's paying attention to things about yourself that you didn't even know existed. I don't even want to know what kind of dumb mannerisms I have. I don't want to see, I don't want to see it. And it's going to be D2. <laughs> he does me. He does his nose like you dick. Because you say that because it's good, you know? He does me really good. Pretty fucking good at this shit, motherfucker. He can have me rolling on the ground, crying on tour, just laughing my ass off. Remember the bus driver on the second leg of the U.S. tour? That's this guy Rick Jenneret, the now the play-by-play -play guy for the Buffalo Sabres, and he like gets really loud sometimes. He gets really excited. Oh shot! <laughs> Did he ever do an impression of you? Oh my God! <laughs> Patronize me. <laughs> Mob is the creeper. Creeper. The creeper. The creeper. 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 I'm creepy. He